Hey guys, good morning. It's Todd the Kayak Warrior. Out here on a beautiful day, heading out to the spot. Gonna try to catch some sheep's head, some snapper, and some flounder. That's the bonus, is the flounder. But I wanna do a different segment today. I'm gonna do what's called the verse of the day. So forgive me if I'm breathing a little heavy, you know, I'm pedaling. So, um, but my verse today is, you know, something that is dear to me. It's uh, my life verse. It's my life verse. It's uh, Psalm 119, 105. And it says, your word is a light unto my feet, a lamp unto my, fat, my path. And um, if you uh, hold on, stay tuned. I'm going to explain why this is my life verse and what it means to me. First fish of the day. Small pin fish. <laughs> All right. Well, actually. Nice sheep's head. Oh, get the net. Get the net. Get the net. I don't think he's gonna keep, but it is a sheepy. It is a sheepy. he's gonna keep but we're gonna measure him up just in case I think he's a little short I can get my measuring board out set him down for a second He's 10. Gotta go. Well, that was good. At least I caught one little sheep head. I'm gonna try to catch a couple more because I'm since I'm over here, I am going to break out the fiddler crabs. All right, guys, I'm gonna try something a little different today. My buddy Brian gave me these um, sheep head jigs. So I'm gonna try this out just to see how they do. So I'm actually gonna grab a fiddler crab here. And then I'm gonna hook him through the back back here. Bringing out the top. I'm gonna get a little closer. I'm gonna see if I can drop in on a buddy.
So this is a good time as any to explain my life verse, which was Psalm 119, 105. Your word is a light unto my feet, a lamp unto my path. And the reason why that is, that's my life verse, is because uh, if you watch my first video, you see that I was in the army for, you know, about 21 and a half years. And I was an infantry guy the whole time. And it's always about, you know, uh, when we're out in the woods, uh, getting from one place to another. And so there's always, a, you know, land navigation, getting somewhere. And so my, oh, like I was saying, when I was in the military, um, I, we always had to find one point to another. And so when it was moonlit out, it was always easier because you could see you know what's underneath your feet and where you're going the trees and stumps and holes and all that stuff and so what i realized once i got saved in 2005 was that god had used a lot of my military experience in the physical to transform me spiritually and it's the same thing with the Old Testament. The Old Testament is the physical, but the New Testament is the spiritual. And so, um, what I learned is that just like in the military where I needed, you know, that light to guide me, it was Jesus Christ that I needed to guide me spiritually. And so his, I always want to do everything according to his will and his plan. This is not a Sunday thing. This is an everyday lifestyle thing. So um, my walk with Christ is an everyday thing. So for me to be led and I need to navigate from one place to another or whoever I need to talk to or um, the places I need to go they all need to be, I need to have guidance, the correct guidance. And so, you know, one of the things I do every day before I leave my house, I always read my word. That is a, a must. I read my word every single day, so that way I can be guided by, you know, our Heavenly Father. And if I don't, get guidance from God then I'm all messed up throughout the day and I'll be working out of my own flesh and my own emotions and you know what Todd wants and not what God wants and so I always want you know to be led by the spirit so that's why that is my life verse because I want God's word to lead me to guide me um, and you know show me what I need to do throughout the day. So that's that's why this is my life verse. And uh, uh, the first time I read it and heard it, it stuck. And so when you get a verse that you read in scripture that really sticks to you and talks about your purpose and why you you know do certain things, you got to read it over and over again and get it into your soul, into your spirit. Because once you do that um, and you have, you know, Christ and being guided by him, you, you can't go wrong. Because um, his way is true. He is the way, the truth and the life. So I always tell people truth is a person, not a concept. So if you look at it that way, you won't go wrong. So that's why that is my light first look at the manatee right there hopefully he'll come back up
little snapper. Get over here. These have to be 10 inches. He's probably about eight. All right, well, at least I'm catching them. Let's see what this one does. I think it's gonna produce a fish. There we go. There we go. That's a better one. Maybe not. <laughs> he smacked it though. He straight up smacked this thing. And I want my shrimp back. Where is it? There it is. Yep, I'm gonna use this shrimp. I'm gonna rig it a different way because I wanna see if it's gonna catch something. They're small, but they're fun. Can't beat this. already <clears throat> you see a sheep head chasing it let me see if I can get one of these Look at him, look at him chasing it. Got, ooh, I lost him. <laughs> it's still on there. There's a bunch of them right there. I don't want that little pinfish though. Ooh, that's a bigger one. Let me crawl it through here and see what they do. Even following it. There we go. Oh my goodness, that is funny. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. All it had was a little piece left. These snapper are just a little bit too small. I need their bigger brother. I'm gonna test him for sure though, this time. Nope, he's nine and a half. He's about the same size as the other ones. I'm gonna go back to crabs in a little bit, but I just wanna have fun with these 
snapper that I'm catching. Might run into a bigger one. Might even get a sheep's head to take it. So there's plenty of them down there. If I feel anything, I'm setting the hook. That's for sure. Because they're all over the place down there. Come on, one of these big sheep here, take this thing. There we go. There we go. Mm, I don't know, this one might keep. This snapper might keep. Nah, I think he's still too small. I'm gonna measure him up though. Nah, he's not gonna keep. Oh, there you are, Mr. Shrimp that I was looking for. I guess I'm not keeping him after all. <laughs> not only did my GoPro die, but I also had a bad wave to push me up against the submerged rocks and it broke my pedal drive on my kayak. So these pictures are the result of that bad wave. But I was able to pedal uh, a little further on up and I was able to catch some more fish, which you'll be able to see here in the next photos. These are the last two trout that I caught for the day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, remember to hit that subscribe button and also like my videos. And remember, God bless you, God loves you, and may he keep you.